Now that no man was like us. Go jump to 32. Listen to this one. Another curse. Remember, the curse is identifying for the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Because God said, if you don't listen to my love, set of commandment, I'm going to curse you. You feel me? Uh, look, first curse, it was cursing the city. Who cursing the city today? We are. Because look at the city that we stay on. You know what I'm saying? Look how, how we're living. You feel me? You're right about that. I'm cursing the field. Who were cursing the field? We were. You know what I'm saying? The white man was not in the plantation picking cotton. We were picking cotton. The Chinese man was not in the plantation picking cotton or tobacco. We were. Today, who in the who in the field picking all watermelon and strawberry and orange and all that stuff? The the, the Hispanic, the Mexican. You feel me? So that's why we know that the black, Hispanic, and Native American, we are the true Israelites according to the Bible, because we're going through the curses that God gave who Israel. Oh, breaking the laws, that's a commandment. Luke 32, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Break it out. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who do that happen to? Who that happen in slavery? Us. Us. Check this out. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh -huh. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There shall be no power in our hand to get, her, get them back. You know what I'm saying? In slavery, what are you to do to our kids? and took our kid and gave to another plantation master. Yes or no? And we can do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? We used to see and cry about it. Today, and today, you don't think that happening today? It is happening, check this out. Let's see, you discipline your child because he did something wrong. He start crying. The neighbor called the police. Who come? CPS. And what CPS do? They take your child away. And what can you do about it? You can do nothing about it. They take it. Then you have to go to court. You have to go to all this stuff to try to try to get it back. But if they don't want to get it back, they say you you are a fit parent. You cannot be no parent. They're not gonna give it back to you. But you're not doing nothing. You discipline your child because if you don't discipline your child, who won't discipline? The police. The police when they grow older and they be a wicked, the police will come and get it and take it to jail. You feel me? So we have to defend our child from John for they could grow good. You know what I'm saying? Well, if we don't discipline, they will come up and grow like they want to grow up. And the police was the one that will come. Oh, oh, he doing this. I'm pound, chew your shit on the street. You feel me? They're going to discipline your child. But that's why I say, they will call the CPS and grab your kid from you. Look what happened to the, to the Hispanic. The Hispanic, they call the, the immigration. They deport the parents and they keep this child here. You feel me? You look in Mexico, in, in the borough of Mexico and Texas. How many kids is in over there in, in the border? A lot of Hispanic kids, you feel me? And where the parents are? They're poor. They're deported. You know what I'm saying? And what they can do about it? They can do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? So he say what? Read again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So now, that's two curses, three curses, okay? And who that happened to? To us. How we, how the black man got here to America? In slavery, no? We came back in slavery, you know? How we got here? What kind of transportation we got here? A boat. A boat, huh? So, when we got to the, to the coast, what happened to us? What they did to us? They split us up and put us in different places. And saw us first, and they saw us to they sell us to slavery first. Yeah. Then they put us to work. Who else that happened to? Us. And who else? Hispanic. Uh, uh, Hispanic? Yeah, and the who Jews, else? The Jews. The what Jews. Jews? Why Jews? Because the Germans. Uh, they put them in, they basically but, did. But then they went, they went in, in, in no, boat. Was, they went the shit. Yes. They was in train, huh? No, I was just comparing it. Okay, no, like, okay. It's kind of like that. Mm, not really. But check this out. I'm going to show you in the Bible that what we went through, Slavery, the way they were in slavery, we the only people that fit it. Let me share it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So who who Moses was talking to? To the Israelites, huh? He said, I'm going to bring you back to Egypt. So Egypt is synonymous for something. Okay, let me read what synonymous of Egypt for. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, let's see what God called Egypt. 
Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? Bondage, where you bond. Slavery, you feel me? So God said, I'm gonna bring you back to Egypt. I bring you, I'm gonna, it's not the physical Egypt. It is, in the age of bondage, it's an amount for bondage for slavery, okay? Go back to 68. Listen, listen. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How? With ships. How we got here to America? With ships. I will bring you back to slavery with ship. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our land no more again. Since we've been here as slaves, we ain't be back to Africa as a group of people again. You understand? So that's why Christ said, you are going to see your land again. Read. And there? And there, wherever the slave ship stopped there, it could be here in America, it could be down in Brazil, Central America, in the islands, wherever the slave ship stopped, read. You shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto your friend. Your enemies. So the Bible said we will be sold to who? Your enemy, who the black who was sold to? Who we were sold to here in America? The white man. So what the Bible called the white man? Enemies. Your enemy. You feel me? So God said you're gonna be sold unto your enemy for what? For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. And no man will be able to redeem or no, no man will be able to save us. You know what I'm saying? We try with the Black Panther movement, Harvey, right. you know Martin Luther King, all of them we try. But what happened? We will not try as a people, like, as the Israelite, according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because we will not follow the commandment of God. Because remember, we were in this situation because we broke God's law, that's a commandment. You know what I'm saying? And God is punishing us. So now to get out of this all the all these curses, we have to come back and do our laws that don't come at me. You know what I'm saying? What is the nation? What is the nation? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord.